They put a hit on 50 and he got popped like nine times. Why would he ever, ever, ever want to squash it with any of them dudes? Yeah, this was a comment that was posted on the Fat Joe interview when Fat Joe was talking to Nori, I believe, about trying to piece it up with 50 and Ja Rule. Oh. Fat Joe was actually trying to piece it up with 50 and Ja Rule after, after the fact that Fat Joe was beefing with 50 while he was still cool with Ja Rule. Why, how, how, is that, how does that work? Maybe I'm not seeing it right. Uh, yeah, maybe I'm not seeing it right, Barnes. But is that how it works? I mean, if you piece it up with somebody, they then go back to one of their associates and try to make peace between y'all? I mean, if you can, as a man, if you can see a reconcile, if you can see a rec a, if you can see two people reconcile, you should play a position in doing that for the better good. But a lot of times, especially in that situation, I just don't, I don't see it. I don't, I don't see any reconciliation in that at all. You? 50 and Ja Rule, I mean, getting together on the stage, does it even make sense? Is there even a stage big enough that could host them? I know they're talking verses, but it seemed to me Fat Joe was just talking about some show that he was doing, probably, you know, 10, 15,000 people, possibly it could have been a bigger show like that or whatever, but I don't see it happening like that, man. But like you said, Fat Joe, it says a lot about his character, the fact that he was able to put aside his beef with 50 and then take it one step further to actually, you know, try to end, a, as you read out in that comment, a very disastrous beef that has changed multiple people's lives. You know what I mean? And another thing I wanted to say is Fat Joe actually released his 50 Cent diss song on his album. That is true. I remember that. The My Fo Fo, uh, My Fo Fo. He had that on the uh, the Me Myself and I album. Mm -hmm. I want to say. Do you think that that was a factor in people actually going out to purchase the album? Was that like I think it was a smart business tactic on my own. I mean, yeah, and at the time it worked. You know what I mean? Following the blueprint of um, Jay Z and Nas, you know, putting disc records on their albums like Take Over and Ether. You know what I mean? At that time, and then Fifty, even him, following the same blueprint with um. What was the song uh, where he dissed Ja Rule on Get Rich? Oh, yeah, Back Down. Back Down. And then he, right. really, he really played up on it with the following album, The Massacre, Piggy Bank. Oh, yeah. That's where he really played up on it next. It was a popular, most popular theme of hip-hop at that time. Even Kanye going up against 50, I mean, that wasn't really a beef, but even, you know, just the competitiveness. So people were really buying into that. Right, and I think Fat Joe had said he wasn't going to record a diss because Fat Joe had said something like, he doesn't beef with people unless it's for real. Mm. And then the disc record came out. <laughs> yep, it was a chance to make... He went independent, though. You know what yeah. I mean? Fat Joe went independent, and he started selling some units, man. And shit. Yeah. He even got a major single with Lil Wayne called Make It Rain. And that really... That really is kind of what stopped 50 from being able to shut down his career in full. Yeah, that was a crossover record. I remember them singing that in, in uh, cartoons, you know what I mean? And like The Simpsons, that song was featured. That's when I knew. I was like, oh, wow. You know what I mean? When you're doing stuff like that, you crossed over.